Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how to answer this one multiply with this one. Next, we have the S. That means we need to do first the derivative of B with respect to Y. So this one we have number one. So we got S. This one that is about the constant. So you got number zero. We have dy. That means we need to do first the derivative of q with respect to s. So this one that is about two s. This one that is about number one. This one we have negative number two. So we can see that they are not the same. So we need to find the difference. Because I want to find the factor from here. So we have this one minus this one. So to s minus s, we have s. And we can see that this one and this one they are the same so that is about dy so that should be this one so that means we need to select about mu s now we need to transform into exact so i select about mu s that means we need to multiply both sides by this one. So we want this one equals to this one. So we need to do first the derivative of B with respect to Y. So we have S. Next, we need to do first the derivative of this one with respect to S. So, in this one, we just calculate in here. Later that, we need to do first the derivative of mu S. Next, I will put this one go to the right. So we have negative s to s minus s. We have s. Later that, we divide both sides by this one. And you got like this. So, I will put this one go in here next we divide both side by mu s and negative s next we put the integration for the both sides. So the integration of this one, we have like this. This one, that is about f and of the absolute value of s this one we have negative number one now we have the formula in here so 
we put negative number one go inside of our natural law in here that is this one so we have negative uh, s one over s because s to the power of negative number one that is about one over s and now we have this one equals to one over s that means we need to multiply both sides by one over s so we need to simplify now we go back in here So, if we do first the derivative of y for this one, you will have about number 1. If we go to this one, we have s and you have number 1. And that is about exact. Now, we need to set up the function fsy equals to the integration. So, I select this one. So, the integration of 1 over s, that is about f and s. This one, you got s from the s. So, that should be about sy plus ln of the absolute value of s. Now, we need to do first the derivative of f with respect to y. So this one we have number one. This one you got number zero. This one we have d over dy, three sy. So we know that this one equals to this one. Now we simplify s for the both sides. So we put the integration for the both sides. And now we have the final answer. So we go back in here. The integration of this one, we have 3sy. 3sy equals to this one and we know that this one equals to fsy fsy equals to c and now we can simplify like this and this is the final answer this is the end thank you for watching